right then, let's see what adventures befall this very day. Big flashy things coming up. It's a bit before seven. Right uh, it's freaking market day. Now, yeah. I'm gonna go and pick up the Tunny Fellas rig and uh, and head off. Mm. <sighs> Excellent. Yeah, I've got to run the gauntlet. The, uh, the revenue hunters are out. <laughs> the subjugating revenue hunters are out in force. I even heard their sirens <laughs> earlier, about an hour ago. Oh yeah, they're lurking and hiding. It's this time of year where they're, they're expected to subjugate everyone and and uh, get that revenue. <laughs> you know, and make sure they, they, they show the officialdom yes yeah uh, talking about a rev Anyways, right let's uh soldier on oh my uh auto choke is conforming today <laughs> good all right so i've got to ride like a uh and the opposite to a bat out of hell <laughs> right -o. Until such time as um, his mate's gonna, when he's free later on in this month, he's gonna sort out my rig. We're in the Tunny Fellers auxiliary rig. It's quite a perky motor, this thing, and I find that it's got more seating room, but you've got more room in the cab. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's an old it's an old unit, but um, it's doing the job. There you go. Yeah, this time of year, man. Oh, this stalky. Uh, that's wife of Storky. There you go. Um, this time of year, man. Uh, oh, look at that little unit. Look at he's got little little scoot that you can ride on the street, possibly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can register that little unit. How's that? Yeah, this time of year, man. Um, the uh, oh, I'm not kidding you. They're, the police are just everywhere. They're all flooded. They're sent out and flooded. They check bicycles for, you know, is that your bicycle? Is it stolen? Just everything they're hiding in the lurking in the corners. And it just brings a fucking downer on you. Totally, total downer because you've got to always sit when you say, especially riding a scooter, right, they, they target them. Like, because I ride one and, and uh, you've got to. It takes away the whole enjoyable experience of being out in the beautiful weather. It's broken, the winter's broken, and uh, did that feeling, and you're like, yeah, and they bring such a fucking downer, you know. I was just listening to Santos Bonacci there. Um, I think he's found a way to be on YouTube, like through his friends, because he got kicked off, right? And um, he was talking about uh, the down feeling that some seasonal down feeling type of thing and he goes into the whole thing of the stars and the moon and you know the age of fucking Aquarius or whatever I don't go in for any of that but um you know uh, I did feel I don't know if I felt it last year I don't can't recall if I felt it in a uh, continuous oh, it's got a Daihatsu Hijet. This is the Daihatsu Hijet. Not exactly the same year. <laughs> uh, that's right. Get those revs up. Um, yeah, just like that down fucking feeling, man. I mean, what, 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 what was that? You know, but it, it was real, definitely. Oh well, but I did find myself singing a bit. Lady in red is dancing with me. There's nobody here. It's just you and me. Well, I hardly know this beauty by my side. There's nobody here. It's just you and me. What a beautiful song that one is, eh? Yeah, uh, when you sort of, you ever found that, like, um, you find yourself just humming or whistling or just feeling alright, you know, that, that's where I want to be, mate, that's, that, that feeling, yeah, there's nobody here, it's just you and me, 
probably know this beauty by my side. I'll never forget the way you look tonight. Ooh, I'll never forget. Songs like that, I can look back in my history, you know, and I've had some beautiful girlfriends in my time. I've had 10 girlfriends or 13 girlfriends or whatever it was. It was a 13 girl, yeah. Some of them are sort of short termers. I can't really remember who they were and they wouldn't, they probably wouldn't remember. Yeah, they'll remember me. Don't forget me. <laughs> Anyways, um, you know, I can look back in my life and history and just see those beautiful babes that... Okay, I wasn't as broken of a shell of a man that I am now, but um, back then, yeah, seeing them and just how oh, freaking... Wow. <laughs> yeah, fucking A, it's true. I'll never forget the way you look. Tonight. I'll never forget the way you look tonight. It's thoroughly enamoring of my very soul knowing that you know, those beautiful girlfriends I had in my life that um, I, I, they, I, I, I it makes me consider that I'm a, I, I, or at least was. A worthy person you know so some they saw something in me that they was attracted they were thoroughly attracted to and I'm not kidding you some of them were Whoa. you know so fuck it out uh, and you know people are sort of like well what the fuck are you doing with you <laughs> you know, oh, you know? <laughs> and uh, others are like whoa you know what a freaking babe and I'm like yeah that's my girlfriend you know yeah, I'm not kidding you. That, that's true, and I'm fucking proud of it. <laughs> yeah, and so I can, in times of hard ship or pain or whatever, I can look back and go, yeah, you know, I, I, I've got that. You know, I don't give a fuck that I'm poor or whatever. I am rich in memories. God damn, I am rich in memories. If I'm bored or I'm doing something, I don't need to pull out my k phone and just sort of play some bullshit game or something. I can look back into my life, man, and just go, wow, I can amuse myself for centuries. Yes. <laughs> That's true. Well, I have a line of rigs all behind me, and I'm doing the speed limit. <laughs> this section here, they kind of go pretty quick. I'm just going to cruise, got no, not even got a timer here, got plenty of time, market doesn't open for another hour and a half, so um, yeah, Tony Feller and I are going to have a bloody good day, the weather's going to be fantastic over the next couple of days, why not, just get that uplifting feeling again, no matter, you know, things might be bringing you down or trying to bring you down or trying to harm you and fuck you with your emotions and your soul, fuck it, just soldier on. Looking for my quota of Seahawks. There we have. There's one. Boom. We've got one. Okay. Now I generally expect to see about 10 of them along the way here. But there's one. I might have one up here. One, two, three poles. Let's see. What have we got there? That's a crow. Here we go. We look like we've got one. We've got one. There we go. That's seahawk number two god they're beautiful birds aren't they seahawk number two now we might have some mountain hawks that we'll get to see um, but all right so there's there's two down eight to go <laughs> yeah um like last time i was down this way i didn't um i didn't get anywhere near my quota i got three and two in the distance so that was a good one that's a sky rat Pigeon sky rat one over there. Uh, Alright. Well, we're nearly there. We'll be 
Give us another 10 minutes and we'll be there with the Ease My Mind Basho, the area where it's nice and calm and relaxed and good people and you can you can have a um, real nice stress-free weekend. That that's the plan. What we got here? There's a Kalasu, that's a crow right there. Yes, okay. Alright, so we're, we're two down and eight to eight to go. <laughs> or at least over the weekend. How about that? that that'll, that'll work. My, my, is it calm out there? Yep, yeah, it's a very calming area. Now, as I say, um, still to this day, I was, um, let me backtrack here a bit. Uh, I was going for a walk with a, a mate of mine came around last night and um, we went for a nice walkie poos to along the coastal area. Not so dissimilar to, to this region here. Um, to this other train station. Um, so he he'll jump the train, he went his way and I went my way. And um, we walk along, he said, Oh well so we got to talk about the drinking or something like that and the last time I saw him I said oh something like uh, shit I haven't been drinking for oh, he's like, uh, are you? he texts me or something like are, are you drunk and uh, can I come around and uh, see you sort some shit out of that and, and um, he read some letters for me um, it's all in kanji and, and uh, each one of them was just like that ah, just toss that toss that toss that. he speaks English yeah so he's like, hey, you don't need that. <laughs> the whole lot of them, plump. <laughs> you know, I just saved them up. They look important. Anyways, um, we we're going for a walk and we we're talking about all kinds of things. And uh, great bloke. And um, and uh, the last time I saw him, uh, yeah, he said, uh, I said, oh, you know, shit, I've been off the booze for freaking ages. And and uh, he goes, yeah, how long? How long? And uh, I go, oh, shit, mate, it's been like about, I don't know, about shit, two or four days or something like that. <laughs> he just laughed and. And um, this time around, um, not kidding you, it's been like, been like seven weeks, making a huge difference. Um, if it wasn't for such the downer of this month and things sort of the down feeling of some things, um, he said he, he heard on my YouTube channel that some things were bothering me and I didn't mention what they were and I said nah. And he just sort of left it at that. He was kind of, it's sort of, say, I sensed that he was sort of waiting for me to explain. And uh, I said, oh, I just don't want to go into it really. And he's like, right, I am. And so, anyways, um, running down the third there. Where do I put it? Um, yeah, it's a different rig, this one. And um, so, yeah, but anyways, it's been 100%. Um, off the drink and my clarity for this very day is I made like I woke up and I'm just like wow fucking hell the clarity um, yesterday I I didn't I was quite sleep deprived but uh, today bit of a yawn coming <gasps> I woke up raring to go and I attribute that to um, we went for a walk it took about 50 minutes I guess to walk to this other station and uh, we were talking about uh, components of uh, Boeing planes and stuff he works in a, a company of engineering stuff and um, we we're talking about components and things and I said oh yeah it's not just the airline industry uh, you know other machinery and uh, I said oh what kind of other machinery could it affect and uh, <laughs> um, quality control and all and um, he goes oh that <laughs> he pointed to this train I go, yeah, I think I might walk all the way back, so he, he hopped on the train going, going his way and uh, I just walked on the way back. So, you know, I had about an hour and a half walk last night and um, I woke up feeling like I was real sore when I went to hit the sack and uh, when I woke up I felt quite energised, you know, it's a wonderful thing that exercise and, and I've got to get back into my walking and, and get my pack and um, vary the uh, the weight and all that sort of thing and um, and there's this there's this hill not dissimilar to that one itself in fact that uh, there's a shrine on top not that far from where I reside and I uh, get back into climbing up the, that staircase and all that and get and get those legs sort of feeling because sitting at the computer for so many hours it fucks up your knees and shit you know 
And um, I'm not really an advocate for running these days, but um, jogging and shuffling, doing the Cliff Young Shuffle, you know, I'm feeling like that. I'm feeling like getting that mountain bike sorted out and uh, and because uh, it's a real good feeling. I got up and I think, fuck, I don't feel so much pain, all my uh, broken shit. Um, I feel all right. And uh, mind-wise, quite clarity-wise, so, you know, uh, eventually, yeah, getting off the drink, is it's, it's a good thing, man, you know? I, lo I love being pissed, and just sort of the delusional lifestyle upon it. But, um, I felt real good uh, getting out of bed, and I wanted to. <laughs> so, uh, that's, that's odd. <laughs> that's different. I wanted to get out of bed, but granted, you know, I'm going doing this um, but yeah man um, seven weeks I would say off the drink isn't it amazing well, for me it's a freaking I promised you a miracle it's a freaking miracle man all right we're nearly there there's another Kalasu all right let's do this which piano え、そうね、少ない。なんで少ない今日。ペンチかな。ペンチ。ええ、ね、ね。おばあさん、あのおばあさんへじゃ食べ物あるね。いやあ。ほら、ゴロゴロ。そうね。でも、うん。誰もう
we'll go for a bit of a um, bargain hunting later. Let's go and go to the pisser, mate. The pisser. Yeah, pack a pee there. Oh, shit, there's that tweak of the back. Oh, oh, come on. Right on. Come. Hmm. Conflicting reports. Um, so, apparently, this no gutter market is lace shoe, meaning next week. So maybe they're just sort of keeping their shit for that or something like that. <coughs> it's like 50 k's away apparently. It's like a three day market, I think. Something like that. Oh, oh we're going to have a lovely day, aren't we? Nice and relaxed. The Dasan there is, um, she's cooked up a meal of, um, utilizing that bamboo stuff they cooked yesterday that they harvested and uh, some other stuff so yeah that'll be good a free feed mate a free feed that's just freaking awesome now let's get this sorted out a tragic event just unfolded I've been informed that we've forgotten the bentos they forgot to bring the food basket Bento to nomimono nashi. Honto nash. And even the drink. What kind of coffee are Coffee wa? Coffee ah, uh, no, no cups either. Oh my my. Uh, coffee are you? I've got coffee. Um. Coffee aru yo means, oh yeah, I got coffee. Well, that's a bit of a, a bummer. <laughs> okay, we've got the camping section. They got a bit of a kick out of a, I found some paper here. Some, uh, some reading material and I hopped on the, I uh, checked that just to make sure it's, it's new. I've got another one. Now I brought it to market 20 times, didn't sell it. And I um, ended up buying some stuff and this was in this crate. <laughs> there's another one so I hopped on here pretending to read the books and there's uh, these dudes <laughs> they were parked over there but, uh, they're, not parked. they're waiting at the light and here's, here's this guy Jin pretending to read the newspaper on the shitter <laughs> you gotta have some fun now we're gonna have a, a camping section there you go to the camping section hang on that's that oh that's right that's that kids um this is so cute um ice cream shop look at this gonna have to set this up we've got no wind yet we're setting this up this is cute ass hopefully some little kid will come along and fall in love with that awesome right that's got to happen okay now this is uh, some kind of campers collection that thing a um, one touch cabin shade full clothes. <laughs> one touch cabin shade, one touch cabin full. Oh, fuck it out. One touch cabin shade full clothes. Yep. It's a uh, Japlish. Okay, alright, what have we got here? Ah, uh, if you're gonna take a piss, do it in style. Guam tree style. <laughs> That's an inside joke, that one. Someone might be watching this. They'll know. It's only one other person in the universe that knows what that means. Anyways, look at that. Some bloke's going all thermodynamics. He's got a glider. And he's trying to, I bet he's trying to see how long he can keep that thing in the air. You get, uh, in this, there's the beach over there. Really long sweeping beach. And you get often you get a lot of wind in this region and uh but today we, we've got nothing windless day brilliant in fact i can get this jacket off real soon and then flash my um my sexy body oh yeah we'll be doing that very soon I'll just do it right now actually might get might be like the beatles in the freaking 60s you know Help, I need somebody. Yeah, they're running down the street and a whole bunch of babes are chasing them. 
Yeah, throwing their underwear on stage and shit. Oh yeah. yeah those were the days. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the, the uh, sorting stuff out. That's beautiful, eh? Yeah, how peaceful is that? That bloke's got his glider. I can see him over there. He's probably got some servo motors or whatever the hell they have in that thing, and they actuate some thingy, make jingies. The ailerons and they go pew! Oh, oh, nice. Oh, what have we got here? That is a storky, a big one too. And these are swallows. Hey, okay, isn't it real nice here? See in the distance there, the mountain behind that mountain. See how it's kind of got this cutaway at the top of it? That, that's, uh, that's vol that, that was a volcano. Yes, at one stage. And uh, the swallow's doing thing. There's another swallow there. He's probably they're probably suitors, isn't it? Oh, there's one, there's one too. One, two, three. Oh, there's a Kalasu crow. See how peaceful they are? Kalasu Kalasu, there's two over there. See how peaceful there's another one over there. Or oh, is that a no that's a, a, a that's the stalky, it's a crow, crow, crow. Swallow swallow. Boom. Targeting. Still got it. <laughs> I was going to film it to see uh, how many pulls it would take to get this thing going. It's been going for a few weeks. And uh, one pull. <laughs> God damn. I fixed the hell out of this, didn't I? Had to pull the carby apart and all that. And... Hey, freaking fantastic. That's the governor doing its thing. Boom, 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 boom. The governor, mate. The governor. fuel ready to rock and roll I reckon in the in the carby when you go to starter again if it's if the motor's warm oh, I sort of do I do that I don't know right too too early to be talking <laughs> let's see how long it'll take me to fire this little unit up got a little bit of fuel oh so this little unit here that's one Let's check. Let's see how this will go. Right, let's do this. Hang on. One pull, one pull, one pull. Oh yeah. I didn't do any maintenance on this thing, didn't need to. That one I got as Genjo, meaning as is. Oh, that thing there's your fuel pump, right? I turn that off when I transport it, and that, that's on right there. No one cares about this story. Let this to run. Just give it a little bit of. I mean, choke meaning the butterfly in the carburetor closes off most of the air, so you get more fuel to air ratio on a cold start. When it gets warmer, set it to run so you get a correct mixture of air and fuel. Uh, that air like fixed, half choke. And choke off fuel air mixture ratio. Right there is our run. Not the most powerful of units, this thing. Give that bird a hand in a second with her concrete thing. Oh, let's check this out. Woo! Nice. Oh, well, I'm not going to see what I'm going to do. See? Beautiful. Yeah, let me go. Let me go over there and help that bird with the concrete blocks. Cut. Uh, 
uh, more of the freedom seekers are uh, uh, showing up, so that's all right. Ooh, doo -doo -doo. Freedom seekers. Yeah. Oh, this guy. <laughs> you, you know, uh, look at that muscle that I can help. Tusky muscle. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Hi, hi. Oh, she's saying, uh, I'm alright for now, but uh, later on there's something dangerous. Um, like, she meant that um, when her, when the winds kicked up and got her canopy and threw it all over the show and broke it and, no, it broke his and, and threw hers all over the show and we ran over and to help that chap and this lady here and someone else over there we had to help too just like that eh happened to me one time i don't like those fucking canopies to be honest all right well, pretty well set up the tunny fella just told me he's off to go and get those bentos which is um the food because he can't stand the shame of defeat because <laughs> he can't stand the, the idea of standing here all day not having a feed now thing considering standing here all day i have a, a hammock i'm gonna set up oh i forgot to take all that shit back didn't i god damn it i'm gonna do that right now Cut. well if i can rustle up some money i'm gonna be the owner of something really awesome <laughs> so uh sure i had some money from yesterday i had to give my mate some dough um, we might have to go for a trek to the. Oh, shit, I'm not gonna have here. oh god, it's not... the situation's looking pretty grim. Hang on, we'll figure something out. The guys should uh, keep it for me until I get some dough, anyways. Cut. Oh, there you go, Sally. Apparently, she cut that yesterday at that place, and then that's the Tucky and Old Call. Um, the tiny fella went back and got the <laughs> got the bentos, got, got the food pouch and all the drinks and everything, so that's alright. Okie cokey, I have food. We'll place that strategically down there, get that out of the, get that in the shade. Right now, we have a mission right here to try to figure out how to assemble this. Yep, isn't it so cute, like, um... What do we got here? That thing there. I'm looking at this uh, diagram here, and it seems. Do I have an extra piece? <laughs> God, I used to work in a tool making workshop. I think, come on. You can figure this out, man. <laughs> ah! I, um, I think I have discovered something. Possibly. Possibly not. Right, um, where's that piece go? We, 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 we can work it out. Why does that have that like that? And that one. Aha! Should be some extra bits in here. Uh, yeah, like that. Right, where are those extra bits? And do we have them? What are we doing? We're going. What's going on right now? We've got the ice cream shop. <laughs> oh, this is cute. Oh, wait till we get this one. Oh, Alright, there's one. Oh god, I don't want to stretch and lean over. Right. Now. Let's, uh, all right, we'll put these top pieces on. Cut. Ah, oi! Oh, there's a, the dummy hit to Osoko yo. <laughs> oh, the dummy hit means bad person. He's awesome. Kule homono yo. He's great, that dude. Um, oh, I discovered where that, oh, I don't have an extra piece. That piece there goes, slides in here. Ah, mate, third angle projection and all. Um, that, that sort of looks a bit shorter than that one, but yeah, diagrams, I, I, I can, I reckon I can handle this. <laughs> right, oh, he ne? So, yo, Khaled. Muskashi instructions, yo. <laughs> All right, I reckon we might be able to get away with not using any more instructions, but we'll go. So yo, chop them up there. So, uh, ice cream shop, yo. <laughs> the Guatemala ice cream shop. 
Might need two hands for this one. So yo. Oh, e mono kate kurusa, and that's why I'll kane mochi. Buy a good thing, you're rich. I'll kane mochi means rich. E mono means good thing. Kaite means buy. Kaite kurusa, please buy. Alright, let's do this. Hajimete, hajimete boku wa skuri masu ne, so. Well, the uh, instructions are a cock on in it. Kami aru. So. Kawaii, in it. It's so cute. Call it in it. There's uh, your instructions. Yeah, how's your mid day? It's so cute. So, in it. So, in it. Asobi. Asobi means. Play. Hey, the old ice cream shop, mate. Isn't this cool? <laughs> hey, I can have had toys like this. Hey, morning. Look at that, the ice cream shop. Isn't this so cute? Not just chuck it here. No one's gonna show up here today, anyway. Going on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna weigh it down with some things, and uh, that's really cool. I like what they got going on here. The bloke over there, he's going around with his Tupperware. He uh, sells, um, see, they've got some mandarins. He's <laughs> handing out pieces for the mandarin. He actually sells, he, he uh, makes fruit, makes fruit, <laughs> grows fruit on his plot. On his farm, I've never been there, but he must have a pretty sizable place because he sells a bunch of fruit. Um, the Tony fella and grandma picked a bunch of this stuff and they're selling it. <laughs> Isn't that great? Um, but he's got this plot over here, um, which he's generally got really located today. Oh, over there, those blokes. That dude, that's um, that's been made out of resin. Alright, that is some famous dude that I don't know. Um, should ask about that. Whoo! There's your uh, Amanatsu, uh, Koko. Amanatsu Doko. No, your aunt. <laughs> uh, Arukyo. Ah, so ne, oishi, oishi katta. Oi, onaka suita yo. So he's handing that out. There's, there's, Obasan right there. Oi. Yeah, he's got, that's delicious stuff. The mandarins here are absolutely delicious. Kono jidenche ikura. Sound, sound biakuen. This is oi, sound biakuen mit mita. あなたお金持ち。違う。僕はビンボ。いつもビンボ。やろうか。あ、ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっ
is turning into one of the alright days. Haven't made a dime, <laughs> but I did uh, negotiate a deal. I bought something awesome. So, someday someone will get that. I've been seeing some awesome rigs cruising along here. Loads of dudes out on bikes. I mean, the big flashy things doing what big flashy things do. And um, the weather is just absolutely delightful. Yeah, loads of rigs, mate. Harleys have exploded. There's a cracker over there. Another bike there. There's a Zook. Oh, that's it. Dudes are out in force. Having a, having a freaking enjoying this weather, man. Oh yeah, loads of bikes. Dudes on their um in their like um targa type of rigs. <laughs> what does that mean? I've never said that word before. I don't even know what that means. Oh, this was cheap ass. Uh, I wanted to scale for a while. It's uh, it's right on point. It it works. Good. Just adjust just slightly. Um, but it's uh, unlike shit, mate. I better get. Oh, there's you just there. Um, I got to get some food into my guts. I mean, bloody hell. I'm dressed. All right. So there's at least a kilo, probably nearly two. Got the old singlet going on. And I came in at. All right. You're gonna laugh. Hey, I am 54 years of age. Shit. Um. I've got to get some protein into me. Um, okay, I'm coming out of winter, so that means I'm uh, not exactly heavy. Um, I'm not coming in heavy, that's for sure. I came in at, with dressed, I came in at 69 kilos. <laughs> yeah, I should be 72. That's my fight weight. Um, shit. <laughs> 73 and a half is like heavy for me I um yeah I feel sluggish at like that or 70 I think I might have gotten up to 75 at one stage um, really trying to pour on some muscle and food but I felt sluggish I was doing the rich piano um, 10 meals a day or whatever the hell is and 12 meals a day I couldn't get that into me um, and I, I did put on weight quite quickly is that cool? Check out. um and um yeah so but i i put on five kilos and i felt sluggish i felt slow i lost my speed yeah um i had power but i didn't have speed so um didn't like that uh but yeah I, i'm gonna at least put on like four kilos or something i'm gonna i'm gonna have to <laughs> this is ridiculous yeah Kilos dressed, I'd, I'd be lucky to make 68 kilos. You know, if I, I'm gonna weigh myself in the in the Rudy Nudie. I mean, it's it's actually coming in a little bit over already. So I'd be lucky to make. I'd be 67, really, if you take that into account. That it's a, it's already a little bit. Um, well, that seems to be okay. Um, yeah. Dressed with some coinage and a phone and all that shit. And I'm cut, uh, it's a uh, 60, 68 and a half. <laughs> oh shit. So I'll be 67 kilos. Yeah. I'm gonna have to start watching some more hungry fat chick videos, man. <laughs> shit. We weighed ourselves and then I turned to Obasan there and I said, Mo chotto tabemono kashite kurusai. She just burst out laughing. It means, more food, give me please. <laughs> there they are over there having a meal. I've already had half of that one. Yeah, wow, well, some interest. That's good. Oh, loads of bikes here today. It's been great. At least I'm in a great spot. So I can hop under here if it gets a bit too warm, but it's bloody nice. How the tides turn. <laughs> Been looking at this uh, Shinto carving over there. And uh, they're the people next door to Obasan and the Tunny fella. And chap bought some guns and stuff. Oh, those guns have to do the plastic BB, you know, toy stuff. 
Oh, did I show you? I've got that ice cream thing set up. <laughs> the ice cream shop. Look at this. Oh, okay. The ice cream shop, mate. Kids come along and they're looking in here. Like, oh, you should put some cool stuff in there, maybe. Things, colourful things or something. Maybe these toys. That might be a good idea. Yep. <laughs> yep, that's an idea. Stick some things in there so they can have a look. Right, well, um, I've got my eye on this Shinto wood carving. And, uh,. I thought with it, we were sitting around here chatting with it earlier. I've actually got some real deal Shinto hat washies. Um, he's he's a I think an artisan in the mountains or something. I used to know a fella that had a shop in the mountains. <laughs> Hello. Oh, Kali. Hey, YouTube and all. What's this new YouTube? Hey, yo. Kakui, huh? Yeah, cool. Cool style. A uh, chap in the mounds, I bought some stuff off him years ago, wood carvings. And a lady uh, in Tokyo just bought my Shinto bell off me. So I'm, it just, it's just one of those things. It's like, yeah, I'm going to continue to haggle with the chap and let her know that uh, this may very well be mine. If I can just sell a few more things, I reckon. Oh, he's just bought that hibachi off that chap. See that hibachi over there? Nice. If I had known, I would have offered my uh, my trolley for the fellow. All oh, right. Let's see if I can. Yeah, loads of bikes today, man. Look at them. These blokes are having a blast. There's more coming. Now, let's see if I can uh, do some haggling a bit later on. I just need to sell a few more things. I bought something really cool off that lady. You know, the way I'm wearing that cool stuff. I bought something cool off her. It was a long time. It was like, she was last year, I reckon. Uh, but she was wrapped, you know, because real heavy things. She's like, oh, that was really heavy. <laughs> I'm glad you took it because it's heavy. But yeah, right. Eh? Uh, I mean, I don't mean, oh yeah, right, I mean, yeah, right, uh, I'll, I'll handle that, so I did. Asked that young chap over there about um, this this um, fold-up. Um, sometimes I sit on this throne for a bit of a laugh. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, I checked it to see if it's... Oh, testo! <laughs> and um, I reckon, hopefully I won't sell this. Um, cause he's got one over there and he said oh, I paid about f just over 30 bucks for it kind of thing. And I said yeah this came in a crate of stuff. And I wouldn't, cause I wanted to know what, what it's actually worth. And um, so we can come up with a prize of it. And there we go, we've got some rumblers. Nice. What about this one? Get your motor on and <laughs> there's me <laughs> in back. Yeah, the bikey bitch in back. We don't can't say that, my LG bit. Oh, my internet sectionality. Ah. Get on TikTok and have a rage over that one. Yeah, so I figure what I might do, if I sell my hammock, because you're not always in the same place. Now, this is great because when it's really hot, uh, you at least got that tree. But when it gets like right up there, you haven't got a whole lot of shade. So I reckon if this doesn't sell, I could probably utilize this thing as my little shade device until I get um, um, some like some of those dealies you know, what do you call them um, foldy, waldy, the, the umbrellary, welleries or whatever you call those things so because I'm not keen on those those canopies they suck I mean fair enough we've got concrete blocks all around the place that you can utilize to keep them down like they've got over there um, and she's got those concrete blocks, but they, they're shit. <laughs> so I could probably use this little unit. Right. What do you call those things again? The umbrellary, wellery, thingy, wajiggy, the them. Because uh, I might get one of them. 
Have I been out in the sun too long? <laughs> Am I going a bit round the bonky wonky poos? Right. I'm waiting for that bloke to come back so we can start doing some more haggling. So I'll just smile more. It seems the more I smile, the more people are attracted to me <laughs> to buy my shit. Shit. I'm going to have to get some more smile happiness coming. <laughs> yes, that's a good idea. And then see if I can get that, that wood carving. Yeah, yeah, like uh, this bloke um, I bought um, back in the day some uh, uh, Yamabushi wood carvings of samurai from Yamabushi the uh, samurai that lived in the mountains and uh, this bloke you carved them and they were sort of pieces they weren't both the same but they looked the same similar and um, wood carving this bloke would carve wood things up in uh, Sifriyama up in the mountains there and um, every now and again I'd pop in and have a look what he's got and this is years ago and uh, yeah, he had some really interesting stuff that he would make and uh, stuff that he would buy, you know, at auction house or whatever and, um, yeah, that was really rad and that, so that piece there reminds me of um, the sort of stuff that um, people were making up in the mountains there. Yeah. I like that. It just has to be done because I sold that Shinto thing. It all happened all of, all of a sudden. Uh, so there's a reason for it, I reckon. Seems like the top piece, the top knot. I don't know if there's that one piece of wood. I don't know if it had two pieces on both sides, and, or it's got one piece that's supposed to slot, slot all the way through. I don't know. So it might be missing a little piece up top there, or, or maybe not. That I don't know. But let the haggling begin. <laughs> it just, it just, it's a tiny color. It just has to happen, I think. For some, it just did happen. Bikes. Yeah. Kawasaki, mate. Here we go. It's uh, Bubba Zanetti. Um, well, he said he's actually trying to sell it for less than he bought it for. He paid way too much for it, and my offer, he said, Oh, nah, can't do it. We're all laughing. We're all over there having a laugh over it. And I said, Oh, that's all I earned today. <laughs> so, uh, Oh, no, oh god, so that's what, what has to be, what has to be, that's just the way it is. Today's just really, really slow, it's just not happening, so, I don't know man, just not happening. Yeah, well, that's alright then. Yep. Uh, I think I'll just wander around some more. <laughs> oh. Well, I guess you could say it's not the worst, it's the second worst financial day. <laughs> so, skunai means not many, not many people came. Uh, but these two catchy guys came along. They bought a, um, an exercise bike off me, one of those. And I've had four of them, I've got three of these, and they bought one that's in a, uh, in a box and I said uh, I learned the word put together or make or build build um, a kumitate uh, if you on your own build it put it together uh, but if you want this one none of the same, so 60 bucks 70 bucks you know like that um, Works out to be a lot cheaper than that uh, in US dollars, sort of thing, but uh, Aussie dollars, 60 bucks, 70 bucks. So he said, Oh, we bought one of those off you, so how about we, you know, you discount us on this one? Uh, yeah, all right. And I wasn't having such a shit day. <laughs> I'm like, Right, I've got to pay for the fuel and shit, and uh, I figure I want to put some juice in Tunny Fella's rig because he's kind enough to let me out use it. And tomorrow, there's uh, the big, big shrine uh, market, so I'm thinking I'd be better off going there, perusing, and I uh, told the Tony for this, yeah, take my rig. All oh, right, eh? So, uh, he's starting to pack up now, and we've got, we're working something out with these brooches. Got a plan for, for that. So, yeah, at least we've got
got some things going on. Bought something that's awesome. So, you know, uh, head above water. That's the plan. And, well, at least the weather is out. So I'm standing here in the freaking sunshine, mate. And, oh, yeah, can you see the big awesome thing? One, just one more time. One more time. So that's good. So, yeah, people starting to pack up now. Shan't be long before I do. I might bring that rig in here and park it here and start moving some shit. Yeah. Oh, it's not like a... I don't know if I've got much of the dogs. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna go easy on this one. Oh, that lady bought that thing. She said there's a couple of kids at the, the age of three and they would love to have that. And I'm like, right, oh, sit down, as you want for And I go, oh, uh, don't I need some man, which means uh, usually about 200 grand. I said, uh, <laughs> them all, but, sit man, don't you want 100 grand would be okay. <laughs> I said, uh, or oh, maybe 10 bucks, and um, I go, are you Okane Mochi Desu I mean, are you rich? And she goes, yeah, yeah, and she pulls out a purse, and she's got like just a couple of coins in there. <laughs> so we had a good banter, and yeah, those kids are going to love that. Kawaii means cute. Oh, so they're going to really like that. Oh, these chaps are back again, aren't they? Yeah, they are. They like, they like beating me down, <laughs> that's for sure. But uh, it's turned out to be okay, you know, it was worthwhile coming, so that's good. You know, had a wonderful day. Didn't make much, but um, just a wonderful, stress-free day. So that's that's what you want. You don't want stress in your freaking life, you know. Yep, it's good. Got the rig here, and we'll start packing some shit up. I might, I might grab some stuff that I know they're kind of like and keen on. So they just start moving. Like, oh. <laughs> Come. Rightio, that'll do for today. Um. What's going on right now? Apparently, oh, sticky. It's about to say it's one of those swallows. Oh, there's another one. Might have been the ones from over there earlier today. Ah, uh, apparently, it looks a bit ominous there, but apparently tomorrow's going to be good too. So, we'll, um, things will be okay. Just have a nice low stress weekend. <laughs> it was alright, you know, it was okay. It was okay. The internet was alright, so yeah, things are things are panned out alright today actually. Things are alright. So um, I believe I'll find something really just just awesomenessly waiting for me on the morrow. It's gonna happen. I can sense it. Well, I think my Seahawk quota is uh not gonna happen. We'll see. What do we got here? We got the that's a crow. Oh, they're, they're crows. That's a crow. Crow, crow, crow. Yep. Um, I honestly thought that the Hakuzaki uh, market was tomorrow. Ah, uh, the, the, the next week, not tomorrow. Bit tired. Um, and so uh, that's that's the case for that. Um. <laughs> yeah, it's Seahawk quota, not gonna happen. Yeah, that's a crow. Uh, that's, that's a pity. <laughs> Anyways, um, things are kind of okay, you know. We'll just kind of keep working on trying to make some improvements and we'll be alright. This might be a last chance for a Seahawk opportunity. Oh, there we go, there's one right there. Boom. Alright, so we've had there's, there's one there, up there. Okay, so that's three. Uh, we might be able to make it up with mountain hawks. <laughs> um, yeah, quite a lot of them like to hang out here. What do we got here? And this one of the pillars. Yeah, he looks pretty big from here, I'd say. There we are, there's number four. Boom, right there. Here we go, look at him. Ruffling the feathers, boom, he's a big one. There you go, that's four Seahawks. It was going for ten. <laughs> okay. Who does that <clears throat> on a Saturday afternoon? Hey, life ain't too bad. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so um, we're, we're at four. That, that's that's reasonable. <laughs> yeah, have I gone have I gone potty? 
In the worlds before monkey, primal chaos reigned. Heaven sought order, but the phoenix can fly only when its feathers are grown. Yeah, I figured I'd just check a few things here for the tiny fella. Yeah, this, uh, I don't know, the uh, auto got one of those electronic fans that cut in with a thermostat when it gets hot and uh, they turn on. And I noticed it turned on a few times. It's not a hot day or nothing like that. So, what I might do, let's pre mix. I might just check this. You can actually, with a warm motor, too warm by now, she's not. But um, if the motor's quite hot, you can. If the motor keeps running, you, you hope it doesn't stall because if it does stall, you have to get out of the way quickly because it can pressurize and come up. But um, you can actually open them when the motor's running and it's and it's warm and it's hot um, while the motor's running because that the uh, coolant runs through the uh, the motor itself, <laughs> um, so the pressure is relieved from uh, going from the motor itself. I'm going to need two hands. Oh, yeah. Curious um, if that auto seems okay. Um, yeah, I just found a just I oh, just heard it because it was turning on, and uh, my rig doesn't do that, so huh, it's just the way this unit is designed. Um, yeah, my radiator is actually up the front, it's slightly different. This rig. I'm going to give it a bit of a checky poos anyway, apparently things were checked just recently, so it's doing the way it comes on. Um, a bit fucking naughty, isn't it? Um, there we go. That's the way it... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know, if that oil's a bit low, just, you know, temperature-wise, just a quick check. Like these units here, some smart cookie come up with this idea of a uh, this strap here and you whack it to there and so you can get at your motor good idea that one right let's just have a another, uh, another uh, glance we'll have a glance at this oil and i just figure i'd just check it just for the just for the sake of it oh, i do know that he's got nothing in here so and i heard the motor works so all right we'll chop some, some soapy water in that water right, right. Elemental forces caused the egg to hatch. From it then came a stone monkey. The nature of monkey was irrepressible. 